for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass by asking God's forgiveness and by entrusting ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The queen of Sheba, having heard of Solomon's fame, came to test him with subtle questions. She arrived in Jerusalem with a very numerous retinue and with camels bearing spices, a large amount of gold, and precious stones. 
she came to Solomon and questioned him on every subject in which she was interested. King Solomon explained everything she asked about, and there remained nothing hidden from him that he could not explain to her. When the Queen of Sheba witnessed Solomon's great wisdom, the palace he had built, the food at his table, the seating of his ministers, the attendance and garb of his waiters, his banquet service, and the burnt offerings he offered in the temple of the Lord, she was breathless. The report I heard in my country about your deeds and your wisdom is true, she told the king. Though I did not believe the report until I came and saw with my own eyes, I have discovered that they were not telling me the half. Your wisdom and prosperity surpass the report I heard. Blessed are your men, blessed the servants of yours, who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. Blessed be the Lord your God, whom it has pleased to place you on the throne of Israel. In his enduring love for Israel, the Lord has made you king to carry out judgment and justice. Then she gave the king 120 gold talents, a very large quantity of spices and precious stones. Never again did anyone bring such an abundance of spices as the Queen of Sheba gave to King Solomon. The word of the, of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Commit to the Lord your way. Trust in him and he will act. He will make justice dawn for you like the light. Bright as the noonday shall be your vindication. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The mouth of the just man tells of wisdom, and his tongue utters what is right. The law of his God is in his heart and his steps do not falter. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress, and the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus summoned the crowd again and said to them, Hear me, all of you, and understand. Nothing that enters one from outside can defile that person. But the things that come out from within are what defile. When he got home away from the crowd, his disciples questioned him about the parable. He said to them, Are even you likewise without understanding? Do you not realize that everything that goes into a person from outside cannot defile? since it enters not the heart but the stomach and passes out into the latrine. Thus he declared all foods clean. But what comes out of the man, that is what defiles him. From within the man, from his heart, 
overcome evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, folly. All these evils comes, come from within and they defile. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our responsorial psalm today, we repeatedly said, the mouth of the just murmurs wisdom. And so we ask ourselves today, what do I murmur? Ano ba ang aking binubulong-bulong? Ano ba ang binubulong-bulong ng aking mga labi? Ano ba ang nanggagaling sa aking bibig? Baka ang binubulong-bulong natin puro reklamo Ang init naman ngayon, ang traffic naman, ang dami namang hinihingi sa pagpasok ng simbahan. Baka puro reklamo ng ating binubulong-bulong. Baka ang ating binubulong-bulong ay mga masasamang bagay, masasamang salita. What do your mouth murmur? In our first reading today, the Queen of Sheba went to meet King Solomon, who was well known for his wisdom. And after testing Solomon, after questioning him and listening to his answers, and after looking at the things that Solomon did in his kingdom, according to our first reading today, she was breathless. Humanga siya kay Haring Solomon dahil sa talino nito. Tinanong niya ng maraming tanong at sumagot ang hari. Kaya nakita niya ang katalinuhan. Tiningnan niya ang mga ginawa ni Solomon. At nakita niya na hindi lamang salita ang marunong, ang matalino kay Solomon, kundi pati sa kanyang mga ginawa. And because of this, she said, Blessed are your men. Blessed the servants of yours who stand before you always and listen to your wisdom. As if the Queen of Sheba was saying, your people are lucky to have a wise king like you. Here we see, my dear brothers and sisters, the value of wisdom, especially for leaders. Kapag yung namumuno, marunong, pati yung kanyang pinamumunuan, nagiging marunong din. Kapag yung namumuno, ang salita ay puno ng karunungan, yung kanyang pinamumunuan, nagsasalita din na puro karunungan. Pero yung kabaliktaran nito, totoo din. Kapag ang lumalabas sa bibig ng namumuno ay hindi karunungan, kung walang karunungan, kawawa ang mga pinamumunuan. The people in the kingdom of Solomon, the people of Israel were lucky, were blessed because their king murmurs wisdom. My dear brothers and sisters, 
what do our mouths murmur? Unfortunately, our mouths murmur bad words, lies, fabricated stories. Our mouths murmur unpleasant things, things and words that hurt and destroy. And that makes us unclean according to Jesus in our gospel today. It is not really what comes in that makes us unclean, but what comes out of us. From within us, from our hearts, come impurity. Kung ano yung lumalabas, doon masusukat kung ano ba yung nasa kalooban. Malinis ba o marumi? Dalisay ba o panloloko? My dear brothers and sisters, today let us pray that our mouths may murmur only the wisdom of God. And let us also listen to each other. We hear many words from many people. Let us be sensitive and discerning. If you want to know if a person is just, if you want to know if the person is sincere, if you want to know if the person is wise, then listen to what he murmurs. Today, let us pray that God may give us the grace so that we may always murmur wisdom. And thus, we may become just, sincere, and loving disciples of the Lord. Please all stand. For Christians, there is no higher law than the law of love. Let us pray for fidelity to this law and sincerity in our practice of religion. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may always be renewed and be purified by the words of Christ's gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may bring hope to the despairing more through our loving actions than through pious words. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our hearts may be filled with the honest desire to live for one another so that we may worship in spirit and in truth. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer that our deceased brothers and sisters may join in the true worship in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, purify our hearts so that we may not lose sight of our goal to love you above all else. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please all stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Lord our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant, we pray, that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, 
Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. O God, who have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and the one chalice, grant us, we pray, so to live, that made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host this evening will be the parish of the Inan ng Laging Saklolo in Hagonoy, Bulacan. And tonight's Healing Rosary will be our 100th Healing Rosary for the World since we began in March of 2020. And so we invite you to gather once again as a family and as a community. And together, let us implore the maternal help and prayers of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Pinagpalang nilika Ipinaglihik walang sana Puso 